so this is a study, for, uh, sorry, this is from 2020. Uh, and it's, oh, look, it's fact check too. Maria did us a favor and fact checked this for us. So it's gotta be accurate, right? Uh, a new study indicates men and women between the age of 18 to 24 are having less sex less often. Uh, delayed adult hold will be maybe one factor. They also go down and blame COVID for this as well too, for some reason, but I'll deal with that too. Um, amount of material, internet, face-to-face. -face. Now, they expand on a little bit more here. People are having less sex and the decline is being seen among younger adults, particularly men. Guys, this is not new. We've seen, I've probably seen at least three articles in the last few years on this. Um, they all conclude the same thing. Young men are not getting what they're wanting from women. Uh, why they're here on the planet to scatter seed, right? That's, that's why we're here. We're just a bunch of advanced monkeys that figured out how to make roads and drive cars and broadcast stuff on YouTube platforms and stuff like that. Uh, but dudes are not getting what they're wanting. So um, they go on to blame things like the internet, dating apps, morality, fear of pregnancy. Sure, because that's never been around, right? Easy access to porn. That's always been around. I mean, even when I was a kid before the internet, there was always magazines lying around somewhere in someone's house. Um, about one in three men ages 18 to 24 reported no sexual activity in the past year. Uh, the link's there if you guys want to read the study. Now, there was something here where they were talking about um, men as far as, here it is, unmarried, okay, this is the point here that I wanted to hit on, unmarried, setting aside the unmarried part, because that's not really that significant, low income and unemployed or part-time employed men were more likely to have no sex within the past year than those who were married, had high income, or had jobs. Now, how many times have I hit on the significance, look, money, status, game, being captivating and interesting, all that stuff? If you're not working or you're not bringing in an income that's significant enough to, you know, to compete with the guys in your demographic, and I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward to do. You can you can download any dating app and then you can switch over so that you're behaving on the app as if you're a woman, and then see what guys in your region. Do like a 20 kilometer or 20 mile uh, radius. See what guys look like compared to you. And how do you look like compared to the competition? How do you stack up basically is what I'm saying, right? And if women have to choose higher income, more gainfully employed, guys that are doing the work in their life, what do they say here? Uh, had higher income or had jobs. Pretty pretty like low barrier to entry, if, you know, if we're being honest, right? Like to make more money is not that hard. There's just some work that you have to do to level up your skills and advance them. You know, I've said this so many times, like the crowd out there that's like, oh, Rich, you just think it's so easy to make a million dollars. There's money just floating out there and you can just grab it. And yeah, you can, you can. All you have to do is have some significant skills. Like if you want FU money, you have to have FU skills. And the problem is, is most guys don't. They don't do the work on themselves. And I'll be honest with you, like a lot of dudes will be like, yeah, you're right. But a lot of this stems from your childhood. A lot of this stems from your upbringing. I know something like 43% of guys are now raised in single parent households. Moms can play the, the fine role of being a mother, but they suck at playing the role of a father and instilling masculine virtues. And then there's the percentage of men that are in households that just do a piss poor job of being fathers. Maybe they're a piece of furniture and they take little interest in their children. Could be any number of things but there's not a lot of strong male leaders that instill these values. Now, if you're 18, 19, 20, and you're just coming out of your parents' home, okay, I can, you know, I'll can, nod my head with you and be like, that sucks. But if you're in your 20s or your 30s, you don't have any excuses. There's an abundance of free information out there that can show you how to level up and what work is required to get those results out of your life that you're looking for. But if you're just gonna like hang on to the victim mindset and then, you know, look at others doing the work and be jealous or be envious of them. I mean, that's just a path to loserdom. And you can go down that path. And there's a lot of people that hang out there in loserdom, but you're not going to get what you're looking for down there. You're never going to find it down there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Now, this article goes on to start blaming things like delayed adulthood may be a factor. COVID may be a factor. Digital media distractions may be a factor you know, blah, blah, like COVID isn't helping. There's a lot of guys that I know that have just like, they just racked up ridiculous notch cancer in this COVID-19 thing because 
there was no bars. There was no first dates to go to. There was no drinks to have. It was just like come over you know, on the first date. Um, it's like a lot of these are just coping, you know, for being honest with you. Um, I'm going to say, I'll, I'll, you know, like stuff like this where we're talking about these specific categories of dudes. Let me grab that. Um, let me pull this out here. Let me grab that comment this dude left here on my thing. Where are we going? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you're going to recognize that I posted it the other day. Um, let me go bigger here. No, that's not bigger. Where's bigger? There's bigger. So I posted this day, you know, just as a spoof. I just said something like, so all I heard you got to do is stand in front of some big chicken wings and you can uh, sell an OnlyFans and your bath water and farts in a bottle. But uh, most guys got the joke. But this, but this younger fellow over here, uh, Liam, he said, you've put out some great content on YouTube, man, but please start to acknowledge the incel epidemic a bit more. So if you don't know what that is, there's guys out there that want to be intimate with women, but they're not having any success with it. Most guys nowadays can't even get a text back, never mind spin plates, being alpha, hitting the gym, and getting on your purpose just isn't enough for many guys to even get their looks matched nowadays. Sounds like a little bit of self-deprecation and a sulk. Let's uh, show these things. So I basically said, hey man, uh, watch less content that supports a victim mindset and do work if you want the results. He says, I've read your book. I've read Rolo's books. I've consumed nearly all of your content up to about three months ago, so we stopped consuming it. Young women are dating more on physical attraction than ever before. Not true, they've always done that. Uh, the RP does not go far enough into the importance of looks maxing. I think it covers it pretty significantly. We've got looks, money, game, frame, captivation, your social standing, you know, your influence out there. Uh, I also don't have a victim mindset as still do the work. So he's claiming he does the work. So again, hopefully, my friend, you're going to call in today and we'll be able to chop it up and see if we can get to the bottom of this. It's not always the guy's fault if he has little success in today's era. Now, there's this, there's this term here, genetic determinism. And I thought to myself, that's an interesting phrase. That sounds like something the doomers would use. So you go to YouTube and you type in genetic determinism. And of course, there's videos out there from the dark loser corner of the YouTubes basically saying, look, because of these factors, you're screwed. And then they'll sell you some, you know, looks maxing assessment saying that your jawline is broken or something like that. There's also videos out there, by the way, that uh, take a, a very hard scientific look at genetic determinism from like published people that know what they're talking about. And there's a lot of debate on the subject. And really all that it, all that, that boils down to, all they're really saying is, well, your genetics are, are gonna determine your success or your outcomes in life. And that's not true. And I can prove that. And I will prove it again in this to kind of bring you guys a little bit of glimmer of light with this because doom and gloom kind of you know bugs me. Anyway, I invite the guy to call in the show. Uh, a few other people chime in here, hit the gym, muscles to do. He says he's going to try to come in. Uh, let's, can I click this link? It's probably a public profile. <clears throat> it doesn't look like a bad looking dude. And well, here's one of your problems, my friend. You're, you're on social media, but you don't have any posts, right? That's, you know, that's one of the realities of today's world when it comes to dealing with um, women. Because they like guys with social influence. What have I said? Captivation. Be interesting. Don't be boring right? You're not even leading a life that is worth publishing on the internet. That's one of the areas that you can start with. So even though you say that you've read the book and you've watched the material and all, all that sort of thing, by your actions, and when there's a conflict between words and actions, what do we do? We believe the actions. I've been telling you this guy, I've been telling you this for a long time. Just don't deal with women. Too many of you focus on getting the girls. And there's more out there than just that. Pay attention to what people are doing in all areas of life. Work, business transactions, conversations like this. I look at all of it, man. I look at all of it.